Uh, good morning or good afternoon, where, depending upon where you are. Uh, first and foremost, warm regards and best wishes to all of you who have gathered in Juba to discuss the vital issue of peace in Africa, but particularly in the Horn of Africa, which concerns me at this moment. As a person whose roots are in the Horn of Africa, specifically the place called Eritrea, I'm deeply immersed in thinking and following the social and material issues that affect our people, or the absence, uh, for the absence of peace in the various points of conflict and war in the region. I'm deeply concerned and deeply worried about where we are heading. In a post-colonial era, the Horn of Africa had no time in which the various conflicts have had have had not impacted its life chances. Had had no time where peace has taken center place so that people can produce, go to school, do higher development work, etc. Conflict has been part of our life. While the one is in the margins of the Eritrea Ethiopia war, the unsettled, the unsettled life in Somalia, the political upheavals in the Sudan and South Sudan with Abia, Darfur, the Blue Mountains, etc., taking center place in the complex region. Political and social conflicts have intercommunal, have had an intercommunal, and the, and the border wars that exist have not given us a chance to mitigate uh, development and to mitigate, to fight against our daily suffering and to work to eradicate our underdevelopment. So in this short note, I suggest a few items that we as citizens of the region, as Pan-Africanists, as internationalists, may think what may help. One of the most important things we ought to do is to be fully engaged as citizens, not only in thinking through what is going on, but actively mitigating the situation. Second point is that we have to go beyond the state structures and think about how it is that we can play as citizens, individuals, and communities. This is critical because the state structures have not helped us much and they have not done work that affects the solution to problems. Instead, they have been agents of more conflict. The third point I want to make is that we ought to be thinking in the real fashion of unity, Pan-African unity, starting with regional unity. The only solution that I can see to our present, present situation in the Horn of Africa is where if we can come together in a regional, united economic and political formation. This, of course, will take place. But trying as we are now to solve the problem by piecemeal, one by one, is not going to be uh, a solution in the long term. So thinking about unity is critical. To do that, we need to start from the ground level. There are two factors I suggest. One, that we actively get engaged in teaching peace. Teaching peace means always remembering that each and every one of us has an element of suffering, of 
unhappiness, of bitterness. And it is how it is that we solve these problems within ourselves, within our community, becomes critical. So we need to develop programs, activities in teaching peace, starting from childhood to the adulthood. The final point I want to mention, and this comes from my personal experience from the Horn of Africa, is that we have to activate, we have to activate female power, the role of women who can play a significant role in bringing about not only teaching of peace, but bringing about communities to resolve uh, issues of day and, and day and night issues that reflect their survivability of their children, of their families, of their communities. Women as a whole have an incredible power because they are the basis for understanding us and bringing us together. So I wish with this lofty idea, I wish I could join you. It was not possible. And I wish you a very successful event. Thank you very much.